Hey everyone, how you doing? So, <coughs> even though last week there were videos uploaded, they were scheduled. They've been scheduled for over a week. Um, I haven't filmed anything probably in a couple of weeks. So, how's today? Today is Wednesday. It's the, I don't know what date, whatever it is. Um... Is it? No, it's Thursday. It's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. <laughs> That's how out of it I am. Saturday morning. So, so, I don't remember much. I didn't at first, but like today things started coming back to me. So, Matthew had to stay a few more hours because no one turned up to do this shift after him. Um, so you just stay at work and that. So that was fine. But that morning, so he was supposed to finish at 11. In, so he finished at 11, he was supposed to finish at 7. Um, so, yeah. So I'd gotten up early than I normally would had some breakfast I didn't eat it all and then I don't remember anything until I was in an ambulance so I had had a couple more seizures um, like I had in January and yes, yeah, so that was not fun. I don't remember. All I remember is Matthew came home, but I remember him talking to me, but I couldn't respond. It was like I was frozen. And same with the paramedics when they came. Um, so yeah, and apparently, I don't know, it was obviously something else because stuff was flown everywhere. I'd, it had obviously been violent because I think stuff was thrown everywhere and when Matthew came home, I was sitting on the floor crying. I was uncontrollably, um... Yeah, and then uh, and the ambulance and that came, they said they'd have to, they wouldn't be able to bring the stretch. Matthew said, oh, won't be able to bring the stretch in because she's done stuff and she's throwing things everywhere. And I don't remember anything, any of it. Um, And that. And then they had either side of me, they had a paramedic either side of me and Matthew was behind me to try to uh, walk me out to the stretcher in the driveway um, and there and then apparently we'd gotten just to the bottom of the stairs off the veranda almost at the stretcher and I started having another seizure and my hands went in that and I gave Matthew a backhand um, <laughs> so I'd missed the paramedics but I'd hit Matthew I don't remember it um, but yeah, so that's that, and I have some, like, sores, you see the sores on my knuckle there, um, because I had fallen to the ground, um, outside, um, and that, and I was really sore the first few days, um, so I was in hospital, from Saturday until uh, about five-ish last night, um, which yeah, it was Wednesday night. Um, yeah, and let's just say it wasn't a nice time. I uh, the whole time I basically had a headache. Sunday night. 
I think it was Sunday night or Monday night, one of them, I had a huge migraine. It turned into a migraine and then it just went down and since it's just been a headache. And I've also been nauseous as well, so medications and things and all that and trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I'm going to be having tests as an outpatient. Uh, that's the only reason I'm home is because like they couldn't get things done, do things in the hospital. There was nothing more they could do for me really at that time. Um, so they sent me home. Um, <sighs> nothing new yet that yep there, but last night was probably my worst night of not sleeping, struggling with my sleep. Um, struggled in the hospital as well so it's nothing new um, but yeah it's been the constant headache that have been frustrating me so yeah it's uh, I don't know what's going on hopefully they will get in touch with me um, to get the scans done, um, still need to get those done, but if I haven't heard from them in two weeks, then I have to call. I don't know why they couldn't just do it in the hospital anyway, but I am happy to be home, but I still don't have answers, I want answers. So, I gotta do that. Um, I'm on a few different new medications that have been added to what I'm already taking. Uh, I'm taking double the, the amount than what I was already, more than double actually. So I would take, Ooh. I have my insulin plus the diabetes tablet, my, it's the medication for my feet, the antidepressant, so as I four, now I'm also for five days taking, um, magnesium tablets I'm taking an anti-seizure tablet um, there's another one I'm taking I think what else then I've got two lots of inhalers for my asthma which I was just casually on before which I'm still it's the same now it's just whatever huh um, I was also on my, the antibiotics for my toes. Um, which I ended up in the emergency. So I ended up in emergency twice last week. So it wasn't fun. Um, I've got to figure things out. I've got to see my doctor and that, get a medical certificate. It's going to be a Centrelink medical certificate because there's no way I'm going to get a job when, if I'm going to be having seizures and if they don't find out what's going on and, that, and while I'm waiting for these tests to done, get done. So it's frustrating. I had what was called absence epilepsy when I was younger. Um, I didn't have seizures. I'd just black out for five to 20 seconds, but I wouldn't have a seizure. Um, I had my first seizure when I was, I think I was like 18 or 19. I was probably 19, I reckon, 19, 20. Um, Yeah. 
and then I hadn't had any until January this year and then this past Saturday so <sighs> But, yeah, so that's, was, what was it, five days in hospital, I think it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but yeah, five days. Um, so Matthew took the Saturday, like he, he was supposed to work that Saturday night as well, into Sunday morning, but he, um, he took it off. Um, yeah, so he came to see me every day. He still had work. Oh. Um, so I think like the first night, I was there, so the Saturday night into the Sunday, or most of the Sunday, I was in a private room because they just had to make sure that I didn't have COVID. So I was in a private room and then I was moved into, onto the ward, into the, um, on the ward with four, um, people and that, um, I was there until last night when my friend Naomi, um, brought me home because they said I would be going home and all the other things would be done as outpatient stuff. Um, but Matthew, because it was going to be well after two o'clock, well after two o'clock, before I went home. Oh, oh sorry. Um, he wouldn't be able to take me home because he had to start work at three. And as it was, it was five before we left. So... Thankfully, Naomi was able to do that for me. I did it to the chemist. Had to get some medication. Over 60 bucks later in medications. Um, but the advantage here of the healthcare system in Australia is the uh, cost of medications. And that so um trying to think what else yeah last night I thought oh, I'll get a better night's sleep but no I didn't as you can tell still yawning but I, I it was shocking it was the worst night in a long time last night um I ended up out here on the recliner and I probably slept for about two hours and then went back to bed and probably got another hour or so sleep because <laughs> then um, I had to get some stuff. So, yeah, Matthew and I, we went to one of the shopping centres and got some groceries. I was okay. Oh, I had the trolley, so I was just leaning on the trolley. <laughs> the shopping trolley and uh, going. Um, we're going to go to the other one so that I could use, like, the mobility scooter thing. But we didn't have the time because Matthew had to be home and ready for work. So, yeah, we didn't. Um... Got there, had breakfast, bought some stuff. Like I just put a rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, fresh bread rolls and some more soup because that's all I had for dinner last night when I got home was soup. That's all I felt like. Um, also had like a bread roll from the bakery that Naomi bought me while I was getting my prescriptions. And that, yeah, so, so, so that's my update. At the moment, um, yeah, when I know more, I'll keep you updated when I know more. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll film for the foreseeable future. I just need to rest. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to film 
next week's Money Monday. Um, got some of the money, not all of it. Um, because it was money I'd taken out from the bills for Matthew to pay a bill, but then he said, oh, look, just keep that and I'll just give you the remaining amount. I'll take that out and that way you don't I have to get the rest out. Um, but I don't even know if I'm going to film it or not. I just want to do this to let you know what's going on um, so that you know if I don't film or upload anything over the next, I don't know, few weeks or so. Um, it just, it knocked me around and I just don't have a lot of energy. Um, I'm supposed to be going to a musical and Juliet next um, week. Um, it's at night, so yeah, I don't know yet if I'm going to be going. Um, but we'll see how it goes, how I feel and that. Um... Yeah, and then, not this weekend, but next weekend, my sister's coming to visit, to stay, so let's go, the, go into the footy. Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. I'm going to go finish watching... I've just been watching like all of like Adam Lambert's performances, performances, performances on American Idol. I love Adam Lambert. I don't talk a lot about like music I like and things like that, but Adam Lambert I love. I've always liked Queen. I've always loved Queen. So and then his vocal range is amazing. And. Uh, his, if you haven't seen him do the Muffin Man to the tune of Cher's Believe, you got to look it up. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go finish watching those. I'm only like 21 minutes into an hour and 31 minute video. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm um, gonna give you a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down below, press the bell notification, comment, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye.